Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. In today's video, I want to talk about retirement. Specifically, how much money do you need in order to be able to retire? In the United States, the average retiree has an annual income of about $50,000 per year. Now, $50,000 may be too little for you. It might be just about right. And it may even be too much for some of you, depending upon the type of lifestyle you want to lead. But let's just say we could have $50,000 coming in on an annual basis in retirement. How much money do I need to invest over the years in order to accumulate enough wealth to be able to generate $50,000 a year in passive income? Well, you would need to accumulate $1.250 million in order to generate $50,000 a year in passive income at a 4% annualized rate of return. Also, you gotta think about, all right, if I know I need $1.250 million at a rate of 4% annualized return in order to generate 50,000, how much do I need to be putting away each month in order to accomplish that? So let's take a look at three scenarios. The first scenario we're going to take a look at is going to be a 20 year old who says, OK, at 50 years old, I want to retire. I want to be able to kick back and do whatever I want to do, whether that be traveling, whether that be spending time with my family, whether that be, you know, donating my time to a charitable cause that I'm passionate about, whatever your thing is, whatever your lifestyle is. So for the next 30 years. What will this 20 year old need to invest in order to get to his $1.250 million? That 20 year old would need to invest at least $1,000 a month or $12,000 a year at an 8% annualized return on average over the next 30 years, and he would have. $1.250 million in his nest egg that he could retire at 50. And as long as that $1.250 million gets at least a 4% return or better, theoretically, he'll get $50,000 a year in passive income that he can use to live his lifestyle. Now that's before any taxes, or I also have not included in inflation. This is just gross numbers, guys. Now let's look at the next scenario. There's a 30 year old who says, you know, I'm doing well. I'm making good money. I'm going to run hard for the next 20 years. I want to retire at 50 years old as well. And I want to have that $50,000 a year coming in passively so that I can go ahead and do the things that are most important to me and enjoy the rest of my life. How much money do I, I need to put in on a monthly basis in order to get to my $1.250 million? Well, that 30 year old would need to put in roughly $2,300 per month over the next 20 years with an assumed annual rate of return of 8% on average over the next 20 years. And at 50 years old, that person would have $1.250 million in their nest egg. And again, at least a 4% rate of return or higher, that person would be able to get that $50,000 per year passively for the rest of their life. Now, the third scenario is going to get even more aggressive. Now we have a 40 year old who is making six figures a year, 
got some side hustles, got no debt. And they're thinking, hey, I'm doing pretty good. But I want to retire at 50 years old as well. But that's only 10 years, so that's super aggressive. So how much would this 40-year-old need to put into their investment accounts and be able to create over the next 10 years $1.250 million? A 40-year-old would need to put in about $7,200 per month or $86,000 per year over the next 10 years with an assumed interest rate of about 8% on average for that 10 years. And that 40 year old would be able to retire at 50 with $1.250 million in their nest egg so that they would be able to pursue whatever they wanna pursue and feel confident to know they got enough income coming in to support that lifestyle. Some of us will want to retire super early, you know, maybe in our 40s. Some of us may retire in our 60s or our 70s. Everybody's situation is different. But I think if you start using some of these, you know, these investment calculators or what I like to use are the financial calculators that you can find on calculator.net, you can start playing around with some of these calculators trying to determine what's the best situation for you. You can plug in how much money you want to contribute to your investment each month, and then it will help you determine how long you would need to put that money in and when you would be able to reach your nest egg so that you can retire no matter what age that is. Also, I want you guys to think about one other investment calculation that I use quite frequently because it's pretty easy to use. And that would be the rule of 72. And the way the rule of 72 works is, it's really a financial calculation that helps you determine how long it will take for you to double your investment. For example, if I got $10,000 that I wanna invest and I wanna know how long would it take me to double that $10,000 and turn it into 20? Now, you're gonna have to assume an interest rate. Now, let's take a look at the stock market over the last 90 years. Seven to 10% return, right? On average, over the last 90 years. So, if I'm gonna take my $10,000 and put it in the stock market, I can assume I'm gonna get somewhere between seven and 10% return on average. Knowing my assumed interest rate, now I can use the rule of 72. So 72 divided by eight equals nine. So in order for me to take my $10,000 and double it to $20,000 with an assumed interest rate of 8%, it would take me nine years. That's the rule of 72. It's really a simple, easy, investment calculation to help you determine how long it's going to take you to double your money. Key here guys is you've got to start understanding and learning how to use some of these financial tools that are at your disposal to help you understand how much money you're going to need to invest in order to reach your financial freedom. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to the channel, share the video, and smash that like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. If you want five free stocks, Weeble is going to give you five free stocks. When you open up a new Weeble brokerage account, put at least one penny in that account. They're going to give you five free stocks valued up to $9,600. So after the video, I want you to go down to the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up your new account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business.
If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.